Rolling Stones legend Sir Mick Jagger caught cheekily poking fun at Sir Paul McCartney in the studio. Rolling Stones superstar Mick Jagger was spotted making light of Sir Paul McCartney as the Beatle was in the studio working on a song for the band's most recent album, Hackney Diamonds. The fourth single from the well-known band's October album, Bite My Head Off, has Jagger criticizing McCartney's accent. Producer Andrew Watt claims that Mick, speaking in a Liverpool accent, says, Come on, Paul, let's hear something. When Paul switches the switch during his bass solo, it is a reality that this exists. The Rolling Stones and the Beatles were those. A smile that had started to appear on Paul's face kept growing. Watt said to Rolling Stone, It wasn't heavy for them. It was a blast. There were multiple takes. Everyone was on fire. We did another song since we were having so much fun. Paul stated, I just played bass with the Stones, and I'm a Beatle, as I was walking him out, mostly paraphrased. The boys sounded like they were 18 again, as you can hear on the tape. The creature is vicious. The two groups have been rivals since the 1960s. Formerly, McCartney 81 was referred to by the Rolling Stones as a blues cover band, and guitarist Keith Richards denounced the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band, describing it as a mishmash of rubbish. With Hackney Diamonds, the Rolling Stones created history by being the first band to have a number one album in six different decades. At 14, the Beatles are the group with the most number of number one albums in the UK. In October, Keith Richards admitted that he still talks to Jagger and referred to her as an a asterisk asterisk hole in a rare interview with the late Charlie Watts. The 79-year-old legend discussed the band's upcoming phase before to the release of Hackney Diamonds. Although Richards and Jagger, the Glimmer Twins, have had their share of arguments over the years, Richards claims that the unbelievable frontman has never lost Richards' affection. He told The Sun that people only hear about the negative things. Any brother would have had highs and lows after 60 years. Ours seemed to center around the office. The Rolling Stones released Hackney Diamonds as their first album after Watts's untimely death, and Keith Richards stated that the loss had a significant effect on him. At a special Jimmy Fallon live show in London in September, the Rolling Stones honored Charlie and revealed the date of Hackney Diamond's release. Richards remarked, Ever since Charlie has been gone, it's different, he's number four, in reference to Watts's passing on stage. While he was speaking, the guitarist continued and added, He's missing. Of course he's missed tremendously. But thanks to Charlie, we have Steve Jordan, who was his recommendation if anything should happen to him. He was a friend of ours and seemed like the next sensible move. It was much harder to pull it off without Charlie's blessing. A unique live edition of the Rolling Stones album Hackney Diamonds, which was recorded in New York City, was released. The band presented seven songs, including Sweet Sounds of Heaven, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Tumbling Dice, and Shattered, which featured Lady Gaga at the premiere party held on October 19th at Manhattan's Racket.